welcome to the Charlie Chaplin Museum. That's where we are right now. It's very highly recommended, uh, must-see place in Vive, so we will soon find out if it's well worth it. It's kind of pricey to go in. We'll show you the prices in a sec, but everybody says uh, it's awesome and just really good and it, you should take at least two hours, so we will let you know. Let's go check it out. Here is the menu of the restaurant that's just outside. And so here you go. A hamburger is 26 francs. Mixed green salad, french fries. Then they have penne pasta. If you want meat. Beef filet is 39. So as you can see, like fish and chips, 25. So as you can see, it's very, very, very expensive. Crazy pricing. So what did we do? Oh, Chloe's upset for something. What we did instead is we packed a picnic lunch and we ate before we came in, which is highly suggested anywhere you go in Switzerland. Must, must do. What just happened? I am, when we went to the bathroom, me and Julia, well, um, after there was this handicap stall, so I went to go shut the door because I didn't, cause I didn't want it open because then it was blocking the password. And then I saw something shiny, so and then I went to pick it up and it was 20 francs. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Are you the girl that always finds money? She, Ju <laughs> Angelique always finds money, doesn't she, Julia? How many countries have you found money in? I don't know. Florida? I once even found it in the pool. In I the went down, I dived in the pool and I came up with a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are in the ticket section buying tickets and it is a shop where you can buy Charlie Chaplin. Uh, so you can buy a bamboo case. You can buy all kinds of things. You can buy a bamboo Alright, well let's get started because we got a lot to see. So, so this is the map here. This is where you buy your tickets and you add here and then there's the studio. There's the manor. Is that what, is that that building right there? Oh yeah, I think that would have been his what home. The and then there's fidget. the park. Okay, so where should we start, guys? There, maybe. Or just that's the home, the manoir, and then these are the gardens over that way. And then the studio. Over there. And then is this is house? the studio here. Yeah, let's start. Let's go check out his house in the gardens, and then we'll go from there. He used to have a big commute house. There. So he came here and he retired here. Yep. Okay. So basically this guy used to make movies. Yep. Funny, funny little clips. And they were funny. Yeah. They were in black and white and and there was no sound. There was. Some of them have sound. No, like there wasn't talking, I mean. Oh yeah. There's more mining. It was just like, hello. Like just like funny things. That's Not like right. Mr. Bean, no talking. <laughs> like he does talk. Like, okay, so right now it's 3.15 and we're going to time it and see if it actually takes two hours to see the museum and everything. But yesterday I went to an appointment in the afternoon and uh, it's kind of like one of these rush days. I was rush, rush, rush and because we wanted to go film another city. And um, anyway, I took my purse out of my bag and it was tied up to my charger and then it, the charger part got caught on a chair and my phone fell and I broke it. So good thing I could still film with it today though. But uh, the screen's all messed up on it, so not very cool. Not cool. Not cool, especially when I just fixed it less than a year ago when I was when I fell running Chloe to school, right Chloe? No, Angelique. That was Angelique. No, but it's still there is oh no you gotta fix it, right? Yeah. White carpet spread over the foreground over the panoramic view that he never tired of removing from the text. You go there. What? It says that one of the children remembers that he asked them not to walk on the snow covered grounds in the winter so that it wouldn't upset the white carpet spread over the foreground of the panoramic view. What's crazy? He never tired of admiring from the terrace. Well, you didn't want the kids to walk on the snow. Why? Because then it would disturb like the look of the grass with the snow on it. Can you imagine? That's a little bit Too exaggerated. Crazy. 
a little bit much. Yeah. Can, I, can I read that? Like? The park was a fantastic venue for celebrations and traditions. The, anu the annual Easter egg hunt in the Enmas Garden, the American style ha Halloween with costumes. Was he American? Maybe. Jack o' lanterns and enough candy to upset in any stomach. Dancing and performing plays on rainy days, a puppet feeder. So he did have a lot of fun. Yay. Probably filmed everything he I did. I can tell like, that because there's a clown on there. Mm hmm. So when we walked in on the walls, they have explanations with all the dates. And um, turns out that he was. His last wife, Tyler, was his fourth, am I right? His fourth wife. They had eight children, so a lot of kids. And um, he was deported from the United States, actually. He couldn't go back because they were accusing him of communism uh, work. So he had to leave, and he came to Vivet in, let me see which year it was, because I forget. <laughs> It doesn't work. We'll go on the other side. Go to where he is, Chloe.